Nasikitikika sana kuona eh, Francis Aturi amesema ati hiyo ati msichana ananyosha ubwa. Kitu ya kwanza ni kuomba Saudi hakudanga ubwa. Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa. Inaitangwa kerb. Na hiyo ni haram. Ni kama kusema kufunga eh, gurue. Mwarambu hafugagi ubwa. So eh, anafaa sijui venye atafanya ama sijui kama ata apologize eh, kwa wakenya kwa sababu imeshtua watu wengi sana and it was from pound sites na kitu ya kitu ya kwanza mambo kama hiyo watu wa media kambula iende kwa media ama ikuwe aired ulizianenge ni kwanza what is happening personally yeah. personally i've been in saudi for 16 years 16 years and i can swear before god saudi is one of the best countries in the world mm. i can swear god na, 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 na kitabu kitakatifu mm. it is one of the best countries in the world because sharia saudi arabia ni 100 plus 1 percent straight hivi but Kenyans, we are not used of that. And I want you media people to ask me a question. Why do Kenya ladies die in Saudi Arabia? A simple question. I'll answer you right away. Wasichana wakitoka hapa, wakifika huko, wanaenda na simu kama hii, simu ya mtandao. Wakifika huko, wanaingia kwa groups za Kenya working in Saudi. Kwa mfano, ni wewe, unamusichana ambaya metoka kwenyu kithurai ya mapalikopote, ya makijana. Muna patana kwa mtandao. Ana kuiba kutoka kwa ile nyumbo umeenda. Ile nyumbo umeenda unapewa 36000 uh, Kenya shillings. Anakuambia huko nje utapata uh, 72000. Na ni kweli unapata hiyo pesa. But document na mambo zote unaziwacha kwa hiyo nyumba. Ukitoka nje unakutana na wanaume. Si Waarabu wanaume wa Kenya. Sisi ndio tunawapachika hawa wasichana mimba. It's not a secret. Sababu msichana ni wetu, ni wa kwetu. Tunapata urafiki in Saudi Arabia there is no shortcut kwa sheria. Hii dawa za kupanga uzazi, it is prohibited 100 plus 1. Protection hakuna. Ukipata mimba, wewe ni it's up to you. Na lazima matu, tuendeleza hiyo maneno. And I'm sorry to, to say this in front of media. Ukipata na mwanaume huko, mkifanya usharati na yeye, upate mimba, it is up to you. Uwezi pata mtoto kwa hospitali without documents, na huwezi tuwa mimba. So, dakika mwisho huyo msichana, ana decide kutuwa hiyo mimba. Yes. Uki decide kutuwa hiyo mimba, I want you to give me to give you three I want to give you three samples. Msichana huyu pengine hajawahi za hapa Kenya. Ni maana ya kwanza kwenda huko na ni maana ya kwanza kupata yake ya kwanza kupata mimba. Akipata mimba akiwa ni maana yake ya kwanza anaambiwa atoe hiyo mimba na miezi ine. I want you to ask you will she survive? 4 months pregnancy. She will not survive. She will die. Unashika? Number 2. Unakuta huyu msichana hapa Kenya amepata mimba Na yeye amefanya CS hapa. Maana ya kwanza amepata watoto wawili na njia ya CS. Anaambia sikume mimba ya miezi ine. Itatoka. She will die. Number 3, amepata mimba hapa huko na amezaa hapa watoto wawili na njia normal. Akifika huko, akipata mimba, anaambia atoe hii mimba ya miezi ine. Hata succeed kutoa hiyo mimba lakini paracenta itabaki kwa tumbo. Huyo msichana anakufa. Once more anaitwa mimi ndio nilikuwa controller. I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans with this Facebook, including Moses Kuria, the current Yesu Yamaya Mechaguliwa Juzi. He was under my control. He's a witness of that. Many Kenyans here know that. While I'm in Saudi Arabia, I was controlling 144,000 Kenyans on Facebook. So, Nina Pigu was him on a pair of pictures, I'm Shana, and a pair of Tarifa, I'm a talk of Munana, I'm a talk of Kangema, I'm a talk of Happy Popote, and I'm a talk of Facebook. Kini Yamusiana Kufa had to work with Facebook. Kwa nini? Manake alitoroka kule alitoroka, ako inje, muajiri hamshuguliki, si muarabu alimipajika mimba, na si shuguli yake kupeleka hiyo mimba, maiti nyumbani. Kenyans, na you know Kenyans, we don't throw our dead. Waki, akifa wa Kenya lazima tushugulike, maiti lazima pelekwa nyumbani. Dakika ya mwisho, hatuta andika kiini cha msia na kufa, ndiyo pesa zichangwa na wa Kenya, tusafirisha maiti. Tukizungumza na wazazi wake hapa, Hatuta mwambia kiini kia msiana kufa, tuta mwambia ni high blood pressure, mambo zingine, sababu kuna mambo zingine zinaaibu kuingia kwa masikia wazazi. Wazazi wakisikia msiana wame kufa, wanaita media. Media kifika KICC, Jomo Kinyata International, another one from Saudi. There is no report. Yeah, there is no report. Hakuna report tunapeanaka because inaaibu. Ni report inaaibu. But I'm telling you, the best country in the world ni Saudi Arabia. You cannot believe it. You cannot believe it. Mahali unakaa na sheria na sheria unapelekana nao vile unasahili. You cannot go beyond that sheria to find nini. So that's why people wanapigaka sheria, wanapigaka Saudi Arabia na Saudi Arabia doesn't have anything to do with the girls. Why only Kenyans? 
huko kuna watu tabaka zote duniani kwa nini Kenya peke yao because tabia zetu za wasiana wetu zimekeuka sheria unafikiria sheria ya Kenya itaenda kufanya kazi hichi kingine it's a lie it's a lie it can't it can't that's a muslim country and they have to protect and also Kenyans and Kenyans girls before they live here they should know 95% ya constitution ya Saudi Arabia imekotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani and there is no shortcut no matter what 95% I'm not a muslim I'm a christian and I know that 95% of sharia ya Saudi imekotiwa kutoka kwa Qurani na haibadilishagwi even a, 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 a point hivi haibadilishagwi lakini Kenyans wanataka tukifika huko tubadilishe it can't work it can't so you should know I want to make a program with one of the media service pole pole nikiwa hakuna haraka niwaelezee kwa kini ndio wasiana wakitoka hapo wajua wakitoka hapo wanaenda wakifanya nini wanaenda kufanya kazi ama wanaenda kufanya mambo zile tunafanyaga hapa kwetu hapa kwetu we have all the freedoms hata mtu anatoka mimba ine na there is no problem no no where you will be taken huko jaribu kutoa mimba moja my friend you are a killer i have a lot mimi kutoka niende huko nimesafirisha wasiana 16 maiti nimesafirisha wamepokelewa hapa na vijana watatu ask yourself why hao vijana watatu wawili ni accident mmoja alianguka kwa swimming pool he is a witness of that and many girls here ambao tumefanya kazi nao huko sasa nashindwa why kenyans we don't ask ourselves why media doesn't ask herself kwa nini namba ya wasiana iko juu kuliko ya wanaume eh hey, kwa nini sisi hatufuati wanaume wakufi eh hey, na wako huko kwa nini wasiana peke yao ndio wanakufa manake hawawezi zuia joto joto ya kiume hawawezi zuia hazui naona na hapa amezoea na si makosa yake ni kawaida ni kawaida hapa Kenya we are free to do everything but hapo funga mbwa yako mahali iko. Unashika? Thank you.